Namaskar. I wanted to bring you up to date with some of the recent developments in Pakistan. You all know from my previous hangout that I had said about how there was a lot of noise made in a mosque in Saudi Arabia, of all places, slogan shouted against Shehbaz Sharif and so on and so forth. So what exactly is going on? I'm going to try and unravel some of the things that are happening in Pakistan. And if I turn out to be true, then you can tell me that I was the first one to predict the future course of events. So what exactly is happening? Let's take a quick look here. Now, the first question that everybody is asking is, who is going to be the next chief of armed services? Bajwa might be still thinking of getting an extension, but I don't think that is likely. So the fight is between Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid and Lieutenant General Nadim Anjum. So keep that thing for one aside for one moment. Let's take a look at what else is happening. Turns out that Imran Khan enjoys the support of about 98% of the lower ranks of the Pakistan army. So for the first time within the army, there appeared to be dissensions. There appeared to be split. Uh, there are people who are rooting for Faiz Amid because he's identified with Imran Khan. And there are others who are with General Bajwa. Now here is where Faiz Hamid has a role to play. Because he was the chief of ISI, it is possible that he may have the goods on many of the top ranking generals. So is he going to use that to make them heed to his view that they should all stand behind him? We don't know. But it is certain now that Bajwa is not going to be seeking a term, uh, another term, and that he might be just demitting office. Oh my God. Thank God for Pakistan. But wherever he's going to settle, I'm sure that he's going to face some really, really tough times because there is so much that has happened in the recent past, which has all happened under the benign leadership of Mr. General Bajwa. Let's take a look at what else are, uh, can happen. So when there is a divided army, then there is a possibility that Pakistan could try and straighten itself back as a democracy where the elected representatives can start having some control over the army. Is that what's going to happen? Well, we have to wait and see. They said that Nawaz Sharif was going to be coming back to Pakistan after Ramzan. I think that is not very far away, if not already over. So let's wait and see if uh, Nawaz Sharif comes back because Sheba Sharif cannot contest elections on his own. It need, he needs the support of Nawaz Sharif to go and reach out to the masses. Nawaz Sharif is the mass leader. So if he comes back and if he supports the candidacy of Sheba Sharif, that's also a big if. And if those things line up right, that is internal Andruni Mamla within the family, once they line up their own ducks, then Shehbaz Sharif could dissolve the Pakistani National Assembly and call for early elections. Because if there is a time that is well suited for him, it must be now. Why do I say that? Because there is no indication that either IMF or uh, China have given him the funding. So right now, unless Pakistan gets some infusion of money, they can't really run the country. In fact, they might get to a point where the army may not be able to get their salaries. If that comes to that, then what happens is you're going to have desertions. You're going to have, you know, country lurching closer towards civil war. So we have to wait and see how that plays out. But a divided army is a good place to be for the politicians of Pakistan. So they may say that, well, now that the army is divided, they might cancel each other out and therefore elections could be held fairly and freely. And if that were to happen, you can be sure that uh, the Nawaz Sharif version of Pakistani Muslim League will probably sweep Punjab. And, and that is, I think, the lion's share of the vote, maybe 40, 45 percent. They just need a little bit of help from the other states for, to form a government, again under Sheva Sharif, but he would have the approval of the people. Is that what going to happen? Wait and see. But if it does, remember you heard it first here. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.